Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Okay guys, so before I go on, obviously I'm not giving you any medical advice, I'm not making any medical claims. But beyond that, the question today really is, how long does hydrogen last in the water? So let's say I was to pour it in a glass of water, how long will it last in there? Well, unfortunately, the answer is not super simple. There is no black and white answer because there's many factors. So let me give you a little bit of information. If it, first of all, it depends how you make the hydrogen water. So it really depends if you're making it in a pressure, like if you're pressurizing gas and you're putting it in the water. If you make it like the Lourdes Hydro Fix, actually, that is actually the longest that I have found. With that particular method, the hydrogen will last the longest. If you pressurize it, you're going to be losing, I don't know, I believe it's over 90% of the hydrogen in roughly 50 seconds. So you lose it very, very quickly. Now, here's the thing. If you put Lourdes Hydrofix water in a cup and the room which it's in is 68 degrees, so temperature matters. And if you put that in a cup and, it, and the cup is open, so that's going to have an effect. And you're not moving the water around because that will cause it to leave faster. So if it's 68 degrees and it just sits there, all the hydrogen will be gone in roughly one hour, which is already pretty impressive now if you agitate the water obviously it'll leave quicker if the temperature's higher it's going to leave quicker if you make it in a different way where it's not truly dissolved in the water like for example using hydrogen pills it's going to leave extremely fast i mean it's not going to last long at all and a lot of these other types of methods um, you have to be careful when measuring it this type of the blue drops I've actually discovered a long time ago, and I'm going to be bringing you guys some very interesting information. These things are completely inaccurate. They're, 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 they're not the right way to measure hydrogen. I'm actually going to be showing some very interesting videos in the near future, so make sure to stay tuned, you know, subscribe and all that good stuff, because I'm going to share what I call a bombshell of a video on that. It's going to be really exciting. But that roughly gives you an idea. And the thing is, is that you want all the hydrogen you can get, because you can only drink technically so much water and that's okay because you can actually get what I would call therapeutic amounts of hydrogen with just the water and the water seems to be really, really great. And then obviously the inhalation. You really, really want both in my opinion. If, if you're doing this for proper healing, you want both. You don't just want one or the other. If you had to pick one, obviously I, I, I picked the water, but I'm hesitant to say that because I've seen the combination be best. I would not pick just the inhalation. That would be, in my opinion, kind of silly at this time. I, I don't really see any evidence that the inhalation is going to be really good with, without the water. And of course, I recommend extremely clean water. But if this video is ultimately about how long the hydrogen will last in the water, because people ask that question a lot. They've been asking it for a long time, and it just depends how you make it. But what I would suggest is just know that it's not going to last long. And especially depending on which methods you're using. But I would just drink the water as quickly as possible. Now, if you put it in a container with a top, it may last a little longer. But remember, even though I'm saying that it, all the hydrogen will be gone in one hour, and you may think, well, then I have an hour to drink it. That's not true because think about it. In probably roughly 30 minutes, you're going to be losing roughly half the hydrogen. Maybe even a little bit more. So you really, in my opinion, want to drink it within five minutes or even less. I mean, I try to drink the water immediately. Uh, I'll try to drink it within the first minute. And that's the way that I go about it. So I hope that this answers some of your questions. And if it doesn't, comment below, you know, I explain to me your question below. If it did help, comment below too. And let me know that this information was helpful to you guys. Thank you for supporting the channel as usual. Don't forget to share and su subscribe as a lot of people don't know about hydrogen. And the only way they're going to find out about it, guys, is if you share information and don't forget to use hydrogen safely. Make it properly so that it will be safe. That's very important. I'm going to be, again, releasing more information, showing you some really amazing proof that a lot of devices out there are actually quite unsafe, especially like, well, these little type of portable devices, cheap metals, directly electrolyzing water. I'm going to be bringing information out about these blue drops um, and definitely stay away from machines, you know, like Brown's gas stuff. That's not really good in my opinion. And so just be really cautious because hydrogen is actually really tricky. And I've noticed that the majority of the hydrogen world just doesn't is not providing good, accurate information. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the next one.